Hello students, uh, today on 25th February class was cancelled because of the weather but we do need to do some work and I have maybe this video maybe one more maybe two videos at the most just want to show you one example of if and else very short example it's actually not even nested if and else it's a very simple if and else and maybe one video about like what is the danger of using comparison operators for the floating point values okay so here we are going to use if and else for the salary calculation and the rules for the hourly workers are that if hours worked is less than or equal to 40 then salary is calculated straight like hours multiplied by the pay rate otherwise uh, if hours exceed 40 that means worker has worked over time then salary is calculated up to 40 hours the regular rate just like here but all the hours exceeding 40 you have to pay one and a half times of the pay rate so we're going to be using uh, this expression here so we can actually um, copy all this and put as a comment in our code I'm using a compiler called Xcode because this video is being made on Mac but it works exactly the same way as Visual Studio there's really no difference uh, so I'm just going to use that and later on I can give you the code that you can run on Visual Studio or any other compiler so let me go to Xcode so over here in comment I'm going to put exactly what I wrote earlier in, in Microsoft Word okay so from the employer employee we're gonna need couple of things how many hours they worked and what their pay rate is both double data type and then we're going to compute their salary based either on this formula or that formula depending upon whether their hours exceed 40 or not so we're going to define two variables double uh, hours set that to 0, 0.0 and double sorry having some trouble typing here shouldn't be though pay rate equal to 0, 0.0 that's just initialization and then I prompt them to enter hours see out uh, enter hours worked and I can give them a format xx.yy format means they can enter a floating point number let's go back here do it a little bit better and then we do see in hours and the same way we prompt them see out enter hourly pay rate uh, again the same format xx yy if you want to be more careful you can tell them no dollar sign okay all right I have to click harder, I suppose. And CN pay rate. Should work. Okay. So now we got all the data here. So we can declare a variable called salary. my habit is to initialize them all and then I do my if and else if hours is less than 
40 and it's always a good idea to declare those things as constant so I'm going to declare here const double uh, max uh, hours equal to 40.0 and second constant multiplier const double mul don't change the automatic okay it's messing me up t i p l i equal to 1.5 okay so if ours is less than max hours sorry, less than or equal to max hours, then we apply this formula here, okay, so in that case we apply salary equals hours into a rate. else then we have an else block because otherwise they are exceeding 40 hours in that case salary equals max hours because they exceeded max hours uh, multiplied by pay rate plus hours they worked minus max hours multiplied by oops not there uh, multiplying factor well I'll copy not used to Xcode yet but I think I'll get used to it eventually multiply by P rate Okay, so is that, and then of course we have to print the salary. Actually, we should print everything. So we say C out uh, number of hours worked. <clears throat> hours in DL see out pay rate dollars oops not there the mouse keeps jumping pay rate Okay, and then finally the salary. See out. Okay, so let's run this program. Uh, okay, I should see my button to run it, but I may be here somewhere. Navigate 
editor. Surprising I don't see it. Break point. Actually, if I maximize, I'll see it. So, because I saw that earlier. So, let's maximize it. Oh, there you go. You won't say it? Okay. Now, I think my recording disappeared. So, let's go back. minimize and yeah now I'm in the recording mode okay I'm having this trouble let's see how can I run it right click okay and now I my recording navigate editor product build for running okay let's just do that or actually just just do the run you won't see it but it'll work so build successful and this is kind of thin here fonts are too small but I will copy and paste that later here so it's actually asking me for hours work so I'm going to enter 40. Why is not taking? Okay, four, no problem. Uh, didn't take 40 for some reason. And hourly period, let's say 10. Not taking. Okay, let's say just taking one. I'm having some trouble with this, and it didn't work. Ah, that is surprising. I'm going to pause this and come back. I'm going to make it run. Okay, I'm back. It's actually, if I type 40, it is taking 40, but somehow it doesn't show the second digit. So there's some problem with the Xcode output window, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to enter 40 here, although you'll see only 4. The 0 you won't see. And period, I'll enter 10. And again, 0 you won't see for some reason. And if I, uh, it does say number of hours worked 40 and period 10 and the salary is 400. So that's really, I'm going to copy that and paste that as a comment uh, over here and you will see that. Okay. Output example one. And since it did take 40, although it didn't show in the output window, something weird, obviously. So that's one of them. And then I'm going to run it again, and this time with 45 hours. So run it again. And this time again, 5 will not show up, and 0 will not show up. But as you can see, hours 45 and period 10, 475. So that works as well. So uh, put example 2. And again, it was 45, although 5 didn't show up for some reason. I don't know why. That's X code I have to. Uh, work with this a little bit more. Okay, so this is one of the example for salary calculation. I'm going to upload the code as well. It allows me 15 minutes of recording. My 15 minutes are just about up in a 30 seconds. So uh, thank you so much and I'm going to stop that now.